Good morning, and welcome to our Mass of Celebration for the Life of Sister Chrysostom Brennan. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We pray that you are in good health. We ask all present to please respect the instructions given by our parish ushers and the guidelines in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including using hand sanitizers, maintaining a social distance of two meters, and wearing face masks at all times within the church. At the time of Holy Communion, further instructions will be given, and at the end of Mass, we ask that you please follow the usher's instructions for exiting from the church. Our presider today is Father Cecil Critch. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. We gather here today with uh, Sister Betty Ree, Ray Lee and members of our administration, uh, leadership of the Congregation of the Presentation Sisters, and the members who are present here today. Uh, also, the family and friends Sister Chris Brennan today, we welcome all of you here today, especially to, to Father Slattery, to Chaplain uh, at the Presentation Mother House as well. So we gather today to uh, thank God for the life of this uh, great woman, this great leader in our church and in our educational system in Newfoundland and Labrador. We reflect on, the, on our baptism today, and on the day of her baptism, Sister Chris was welcomed into the church, given new life in Christ, and clothed with the garment of salvation. Today, we greet the body of our sister and surround her with the church's prayer. We commend our sister Chris to the mercy of God and pray that the promise made to her in baptism will be fulfilled. Our opening hymn is found on page 542 in the Catholic Book of Worship, Canticle of the Sun. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Sing to the sun, the bringer of day, he carries the light of the Lord in his rays. 
the moon and the stars who light up the way unto your throne. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the fields, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise to the wind that blows through the trees, the sea's mighty storm, the gentlest breeze. They blow where they will, they blow where they please, to please the Lord. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise to the rain, the waters are fields, and blesses our crops, so the whole world is reels. From death unto life, her mystery revealed, springs forth in joy. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Let us pray. All-powerful God, we pray for our sister Chris, who responded to the call of Christ and pursued wholeheartedly the ways of perfect love. Grant that she may rejoice on that day when your glory will be revealed and in company with all her brothers and sisters share forever the happiness of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for our readings and Sister Margaret Mary will come forward. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season, and a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to reap what was planted, a time to destroy, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to throw away and a time to gather together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, and a time to lose, 
a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear apart and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for conflict and a time for peace. God has destined everything suitable for its time. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, to you, O Lord, I lift my soul, to you, I lift my soul.
A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth have disappeared now, and the sea is no more. I saw the holy city, Jerusalem, coming from God, like a bride adorned for her wedding. Then I heard a voice from heaven call, You see this city? Here God dwells. God with them will give them a dwelling there too. There will be no more death or suffering, for the world of the past is gone. God's voice says, I am making the whole of creation new. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give freely water from the well of life to anyone who is thirsty. It is the rightful inheritance of those who are faithful. You will be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know what the master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will last, so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. And this I command you, love one another. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is very good to be here, to be gathered today to celebrate a wonderful Christian life, well lived, deeply and lovingly. It is good to gather at the Eucharist to thank God for the gift that God shared with us in the person of Sister Chris Brennan. Her two families, the Brennan family and our religious family, the Presentation Sisters, as well as her relatives and friends and former students, including our Kenter, her colleagues in teaching and various other ministries, say thank you, God, for the gift of this wonderful woman of faith. Gertrude Brennan was born in 1929 and entered the Presentation Congregation and became a daughter of Nano Nagel in 1947. Her journey, our journey of faith, began in baptism. And in baptism, Sister Chris became a daughter of God, a new creation created for a special and unique purpose in life. Last night, I was pleasured to be at the vigil where we reflected the family and the sisters on Sister Chris's life and ministry. I don't, none of us just happened. We come into the world having been put together by God uniquely to make a difference in the lives of others and to make a difference for God in our world. I was reflecting about the different ingredients God uses to put together all of us uniquely in our mother's womb. And I wondered what God must have been thinking when God made Sister Chris Brennan. God must have said, I got to put enough intelligence, energy, dedication, and enthusiasm in her to make her a great teacher and a competent school administrator. She helped so many young people see the mystery of God's presence and action in the world through their lives. She believed in an education that would see the development of the whole person, honoring every person's unique gifts, needs, differences, learning styles, and faith journeys respecting the sacred mystery of each learner whose potential was uniquely gifted by the Creator. Online, I read about from Maureen Murphy of Kingston, Ontario, a former student of Sister at Holy Heart, and talked about the positive influence that Sister Chris, she called this amazing educator, had on her students, and she kept in touch with so many of them over the years and reached out to many of them, especially when they suffered the loss of a family member. She modeled the true character of an educator, she said. God said, I've got to put enough persistence, stubbornness in her to fight against intolerance and to be an advocate for the poor and marginalized and those in need. I've got to put enough porn in enough love to make her a loving, compassionate, and caring soul. Her family last night spoke tearfully how she was so much a part of their lives and always kept in contact with them never forgetting birthdays and anniversaries, bringing books to them as gifts which they appreciated. They said that she was like a mother and a grandmother to the whole extended Bre Bre Brennan family, and they celebrated her on Mother's Day. That says a lot. And God said, I got to put enough boldness in her to be a straight shooter in her dealings with others. Ever the administrator, she never shied in giving people directions. I'm told. Sister Chris also loved God's gift of nature and was a special advocate for the care of the earth, our common home, and that beautiful hymn at the beginning, the Canticle of the Sun, spoke volumes to me about her. We reflect today that Sister Chris and each of us are a gift from God to the world, and we open that gift of God, God's love, every day as we enrich the lives of others. And Sister Chris took those gifts and talents that God had given her and placed it at the service of other people. And you know, life is always at its best, isn't it, when we serve others. Her vocation to religious life, following the charism of Nano Nagel in the Presentation Sisters, you know, like Nano Nagel, she brought the light of her lantern, to, who brought the light of her lantern to the poor and destitute in Cork, Ireland, and many other parts of the world. Nano Nagel was the face of God's mission and ministry to those who were marginalized, those made poor and kept poor by unjust social and political structures at her time. Sister Chris brought that same light of the lantern of her faith and the spirit of her loving service to those with whom 
in her own time and place. Like Jesus, who showed the greatest love, who laid down his life in love for us all, chose Sister Chris and appointed her to go and bear much fruit. And Sister Chris, during her journey of faith, laid down her life sacrificially for others every day, thus bearing much fruit as a missionary disciple of Jesus Christ. Sister Chris received her strength to do the things she did by making Christ the center of her life through a deeply rooted life of prayer and faith. Sister Chris was spiritually nourished and strengthened for this ministry at the table of the Eucharist, and she did it many times here in the Basilica. St. John Chrysostom, her namesake, said, I receive him to become him to be Eucharist for others. I receive him to become him. He also said, and this really struck me, I was re wanted to find a few quotes from St. John Chrysostom, why she would pick this man or this saint for her namesake. Now I know why. So one of the things he said was, if you cannot find Christ in the beggar at the church door, you will not find him in the chalice. If you cannot find Christ in the beggar at the church door, you will not find him in the chalice. Now when I know why Sister Chris chose St. John Chrysostom for her religious name as she, like St. John, told it like it was, whether you liked it or not. And she continued to have that same zeal, that same enthusiasm, the same commitment to God in her later years as she had in the beginning. She was a strong woman, loyal to the vow she made, a faithful, full servant of God who lived the love of God through selfless, sacrificial service of others. That's what we can say. And that is how we all will be judged by God at the end of our life, by how we have loved others. How we have reflected the love of God back to the world that we received. So we pray today for Sister Chris as we thank God for her life and the many blessings we have received as a result of her presence among us. The reading from Revelation says, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. I saw the holy city Jerusalem. I am making the whole of creation new. I will be your God. St. John Chrysostom said about death. And I'll end with that quote. What is dying, St. John said? Just what it is to put off a garment. For the body is about the soul as a garment. And after laying this aside for a short time by means of death, we shall resume it again with more splendor. As you, Sister Chris, join your loved, one, loved ones in the joy of the saints, may the light of God shine upon you and bring you eternal peace and comfort. May you receive the heavenly inheritance prepared for you since the foundation of the world. I call Catherine up for the prayers of intercession. Please stand. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. The response is, hear our prayer. Hear our hear prayer. prayer. For Sister Chris, who was brought to new life through water and the Holy Spirit, and nourished at the table of the Eucharist, God in your mercy. Hear, hear our prayer. For the deceased members of the presentation community, for the family, relatives, and friends of Chris, God in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For Chris's sister Joan, brothers-in-law Kevin and Frank, and all who mourn Chris's passing, God in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For the many people to whom and with whom Chris ministered and for her generosity of spirit, God in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For all leaders, that they may lead with compassion, wisdom, peace, and justice, God in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For all healthcare providers, 
especially the staff and sisters at Presentation Mother House, who cared for Chris during her illness. God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For all who die each day by war, violence, famine, and COVID. God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For our global community, especially for the many people who live daily with violence and oppression, that they may know peace. God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For Mother Earth, who continues to nourish and energize us. God, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a share in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be near, O Lord, we pray to your servant, Sister Chris, and his future whose funeral day we offer you this sacrifice of reconciliation, 
so that should any stain of sin ever cling to her or any human fault ever affected her, it may by your loving gift be forgiven and wiped away through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with all the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who loved the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and as, when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. And therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led, led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and into the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop, the bishops, priests, deacons, the religious, and the entire people you have gained your, made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, inspiring us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. 
Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember your servant Chris, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, in our resurrection. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. And we remember today all the members of the presentation congregation who have died. And for sisters, parents, William and Ellen, our brothers Augustus and Francis, John and Aloysius, Gerald, sisters Eileen, Mary, Kathleen, Betty, and Sheila. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us that when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. John the Baptist, with Nano Nagel, Catherine Macaulay, Edmund Rice, and with all your saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Pray with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming again of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we share that peace of Christ now with one another. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. A prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, for you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To ensure that the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe and respectful manner, we ask that you please follow these instructions. Instead of individually replying Amen upon receiving the host, there will be one general attestation of Amen before distribution begins. Please remain standing in your pew until invited forward by an usher. Ensure your face mask is correctly worn before coming forward and maintain a two-meter social distance in the communion line. As you approach the front of the line, sanitize your hands before receiving communion. Bow toward the host. In silence, receive the host in your hands. Step aside to consume the host. Return to your pew as directed by the usher. Those unable to receive Holy Communion in the hand may come forward to receive a blessing. Uh, we will have a Eucharist minister in the middle as well for the people at the back and in the front we'll just come from the front pews up instead of back. the body of Christ. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 6.2 in Celebrate in Song, Dona Nobis Pacem.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it our sister Chris may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Sister Chris. And now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Sister Chris again and enjoy her friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. In baptism, Sister Chris shared in the death and resurrection of Christ May she be welcomed into the glory of eternal life. It's a sign of respect for our sister, Chris. We let this incense rise to God who has called her to share in his glory. songs 
Father of mercies, we commend our sister Chris, and assure in certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him. We give you thanks for the blessings which you have bestowed upon her in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us remain to comfort one another with the assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister Chris forever. Amen. Thank you all for your presence here today, and we feel certainly Sister Chris's presence here today in this liturgy. For all those, uh, Sister Clo and all the people who helped to plan this today, those involved, particular thanks to uh, Jacinta, uh, Mackie Graham, one of our students at Holy Heart, and uh, also Patty Fowler for the beautiful organ music, and uh, also to our readers and our ushers and the people behind the scenes like Brother Rick and all those who help us every day to make this possible here in this church. Dear friends, may every mark of affection, every gesture of friendship that you give to others be a sign of God's peace for you. And we peace now with take our sister Chris to our place of rest. And may Almighty God bless all of us, name the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our missioning chant is number 625 in celebrating song, We Shall Go Out. We shall go out with hope of resurrection. We shall go out from strength to strength, go on. We shall go out and tell our stories boldly, tales of a love that will not let us go. of love. 